Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. Oh my gosh, we got seven inches of snow last night and it's absolutely gorgeous. The weather has been all over the place, like you know, like we had the ice storm with a lot of damage and then it's warm and cold back and forth. But honestly, this is so beautiful. So I have to go play with the ponies. So because there was a lot of wind yesterday, I decided to keep all the horses in the barn. So I'm gonna go take care of them and then we're gonna do some groundwork and just have a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Good morning. You guys stay all warm and cozy last night? Good morning, Belle. Arlo. Morning, little Buzzy. Morning, Mushi. Morning, Bagheera. Hi. We all know the real reason why you're watching today is to see Miss Belle integrate with the herd. So I've been doing some things little by little, putting her in the outdoor arena, letting her meet the horses through the fence. I've also put her in with Olaf and Mushu and she did well with them in the paddock, but now she's gonna meet the whole herd today. Okay, so let's let these horses get out of the stalls and have some fun. First, I'm gonna put Belle out in the big pasture alone and let her adjust and then add horses little by little. You good girl? Hi. Hi, good girl. You want a friend? Okay. First, I'm gonna put Jiminy Cricket out there. He is the most dominant horse and the alpha. And I just wanted to put him out first to see how they got along. Of course, Jiminy went for a roll in the arena right before I turned him out too. So that's why he looks so dirty. Horses are herd animals and there is a hierarchy. So what you just saw right there was an establishment of dominance, which Jiminy did show to be more dominant than her because she stepped away and this is very normal behavior. Now they're both getting along great, doing well. So that is fantastic. So we're gonna introduce a few more horses. After several minutes, I started adding horses little by little and she was really cool with it. Plus this is a huge area, so that's definitely more helpful with integration. So I'm only gonna leave them out here for a little bit because the footing's okay, but it's not fully frozen underneath. And I just wanted to get her acclimated in the beginning, but everybody's doing really well together. Now everybody is chilling in the main paddock. They're all doing well and we're gonna separate them here in a few minutes, but we have to get the other paddock ready. We have a bunch of stalls to clean, 10 total. So we got our work cut out for us today. I am a huge believer in keeping my horses out 24 seven. They deserve freedom and friends. And in the wild, horses roam up to 20 miles per day. However, we had inclement weather yesterday. Again, we got seven inches of snow. There were 45 mile per hour winds. So at 2 p.m. yesterday, I prepped the stalls and brought everybody in and I let them out about 7 a.m. this morning. For the most part, I do not stall my horses unless there's sickness, or they're injured, or there's some reason because of weather, or if they're getting ready to do lessons or something like that. So they're all trained to be in stalls. However, I believe that they need to be out as much as possible. They are horses and they deserve that freedom. And I will always stick with that. But it is nice to have the stalls for reasons like this because of the crazy weather that we've been having. So I'm cleaning all the stalls today. Kyle's helping me, thankfully. And it is a lot of work.
And now we have clean, freshly bedded stalls. All the horses seem relaxed. They're either sunbathing or getting some water or eating hay. I'm really happy that everybody is so chill right now, which is fantastic. Get some water. Good girl. All the snow and ice is melting because it's warming up to like 40 to 45 degrees today. It's so crazy. Olaf just pinned his ears at her and she walked away. So that's really interesting. I'm wondering if he's going to be more dominant. So he is dominant, but he's more middle to high in the herd hierarchy because he is younger. He's like eight coming nine. So that's really surprising. We'll have to see how it all works out. So far, Belle is doing great with the herd. So we're going to be rotating them out here soon. I just wanted to see how she got along with everybody. And so far, she's doing really well integrating. And yeah, makes me happy. We put a round bale in the other paddock and filled the trough so it's ready for Miss Belle. And then I'm going to put Gaston and maybe another one to two horses out with her and just see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to put Belle in the other paddock now. And I'm just going to let her hang out and then put a few other horses in with her. She's doing really well. Is that snow? No, we're not going that way. We're going this way. Ooh. I'm so excited that Belle has been settling in at Free Spirit Farm. Just from the day we got her at the auction, she has made so much progress and I'm just so thankful. She's such an amazing mare and I'm really happy that I can give her a fantastic life and train her and work with her and give her the education she needs. Now, many of you have asked if I do plan on rehoming her. Yes, I cannot lose sight of my mission here at Free Spirit Equestrian. Now, that won't be for a very long time and you know I consider all these horses my personal horses and my babies, but that is the plan. Otherwise, I could not be doing what I'm doing and I would have never met Belle if I would have not sold any other horses people told me not to sell in the past. Jiminy is my heart horse and Bagheera will stay with me forever, but I can't keep every horse. She seems to be getting along with the other horses really well. She's super laid back and chill, so that is awesome. It's time to put Gaston in with Belle and I'm hoping they get along because it would be so cute with Gaston and Belle and the whole Beauty and the Beast theme. Gaston is a Canadian horse and he is honestly such a good boy. He's one of the best horses here, to be honest. He's so wonderful to ride. He's great on the trail. He jumps, he does it all, and he has just the kindest demeanor. Gaston and Belle. <laughs> Two biggest horses at the barn. What are you two doing? You buddies? Or more? We shall see. <laughs> so Belle is just under 16.2 hands. She's 16, one and a half. And Gaston is about 16 hands. So they're the two biggest horses here at Free Spirit Equestrian. They seem chill. So Kyle and I just had to go buy some new gates. Guess how much two 16 foot gates cost? $650. Everything is so expensive, but let me show you why we literally had to go get them ASAP. So the bottom of our gate literally like broke off. Like it's so bad. So it's hard to see, but because the snow's on it, look at like the whole bottom part of this gate literally broke off. Oh man. On Saturday. You just have to tell yourself, you, we love horses. You just have to repeat it. I love horses. Yeah. I love horses. I love and horses. then it makes it all worth it. Shay's putting in the new pin for the gate. This is a heavy duty gate we got. The other one's a light duty. So these ones require a little bit bigger pin. It goes all the way through the post. We have 10 by 10 posts here. So it should hold the gate. 
We might end up putting one of those wheels on it though, because I know it's gonna still be a lot of weight. Can't leave it off at the end of these pins. So, how is it, Shay? <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> the <laughs> bottom morning. one's gonna be the hard one. Hey, at least it wasn't Sunday where the lumber store wasn't open. Yeah, that's so true. So I'm just glad that we could go get the gates because that was not okay. And I didn't feel comfortable bringing horses in and out. Now we're doing the bottom one. I'm giving Shay a turn. The bottom one's hard because you have to keep flipping the wrench. And the farther in you go, the harder it gets because there's more friction on the bolt in the wood but you want a tight fit so it's not loose and it doesn't spin the wrench is so long i can't really bend <laughs> yeah but if it wasn't long you wouldn't have the leverage no, no i know people say they want horses and the horse lifestyle well this is the kind of stuff that comes with it hard work and lots of money to spend on things that break They are so funny. Goofballs. <laughs> Voila. That took forever. The only thing that's annoying is they're just slightly overlapping, which drives me crazy, but whatever. Can't really do anything about it. So yeah. Were you a good helper? Little watchdog? Koa? Koa, he's a good boy. Hi. Have you missed little Buzzy B? He's been doing so well. I put him in this private paddock because the snow in the other paddock is so deep, I thought it'd be too much for him. But he's been doing fantastic and we're gonna take him out. Got little Buzzy B here. We're gonna do a grooming session and then some liberty. You need a good groom. Yes. Yes, you do. And a treat. Good boy. I'm sure I'll get some lovely comments regarding the mud like I do every time. Well, this is Michigan and we have clay and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it unless you have about $400,000 to completely excavate the entire farm and then put a ton of material down. With that being said, I have to use the metal brush to get all that nasty clay off, but I did decide to wash his legs and I'll let him dry out afterwards today. Just want to give him a good scrub to keep his skin nice and healthy. He's been doing so well. He's such a cutie. Okay, you look much better, Buzzy. Okay, it's time to do some liberty work with Mr. Buzzy Bee. Go. Good boy. This is Buzz Lightyear's first time ever doing liberty, and we're going to do it in all three gates, walk, trot, canter. And basically, it's just utilizing the skills that he's already mastered on the lunge line and then taking him Ooh. off and seeing if he understands them Ooh. and that the Good communication boy. is clear. <laughs> what do you see there? Good boy, that was awesome. Good job. <laughs> We're just starting, silly. Cutie, go back out. Right now, I just want you to listen to what I'm saying to him and see how he responds, and then I'll show you what we actually do and talk about it in a little bit. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Awesome job. Walk slow. Good. 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 Walk slow. Whoa. Ooh, good boy, good Buzz. Good boy, awesome. Walk slow. Switch, switch. Good. Walk slow. Good boy. Whoa. Good. 
Good job. You're so smart. So smart. Good job. Trot slow. Good. Canter. Trot slow. Whoa. Good boy. For those of you who are new to the channel, I bought Buzz Lightyear from an auction at the very end of November. He spent two weeks in quarantine and this was our very first session. So as you can see, he's made quite an improvement, but I do want to show this so that you know where he came from and how little he understood to where he is today, literally doing Liberty at Walk Trot Canter. He has also had a little rider on him and there's another video showing that. It just goes to show what time, patience, and trust will do for the horse, or the pony in this case. And that is our mission at Free Spirit Equestrian. We give horses the tools they need to succeed in life and make them good equine citizens so they can be functional in the real world. We also love and care for them deeply, and that's why it's so hard to move the horses along when they are eventually ready to be let out into the world and find their forever home. As you can see, Buzz Lightyear truly has begun to shine and he's transforming into all of his luster, which is exactly what we want to see. Liberty is all about using your energy and your cues that you have taught the horse on the lunge line. So here I'm asking him to trot, but I'm not putting too much energy at him because I don't want him to come off of the circle. If he chooses to walk away, which he can at any time, I will let him go and only let him come to me when he's ready. Taking a few steps back is pulling my energy. And essentially this is a cue for Buzz to turn in and walk towards me and halt. So I reward him with positive reinforcement. Now I have him in a canter and then I will ask him to transfer transition down and make sure he's responding. He instantly goes into a trot when I ask him. He's so in tune and willing, and that is just fantastic considering how he was at first. You can see he was at a canter. I started backing up and he immediately turned in. I walk towards him, give him verbal praise, and then follow up with positive reinforcement, AKA the treat and the vocal cues saying that he did a really good job. Now I'm gonna pet him and let him know that this is a good spot to be with me. You wanna make it so the horse wants to be with you. It's that simple. This is our first time ever Ever doing Liberty. So I'm sure I'll get some questions asking, how did we learn how to do this? Honestly, it's just a bunch of groundwork and he already had learned all the steps and the vocal commands and the body language on the lunge line. And essentially you just take them off and try. It's that simple. So once they understand the communication, it just becomes so much more clear to them. And then it's just like, he just knows he just did it. You did good. So proud of him. Are you good pony? Are you a good pony? I don't know. I think you're naughty. I'm just kidding. Kinda. There's some little sassy parts in ya. <laughs> Goofy. Okay, horse lovers, we have a few thank yous. Thank you so much, Elaine, for these beautiful gray breeches. Thank you so much, Grace, for these stirrup leathers. Thank you so much, Karen, for this beautiful blue halter for Belle. Thank you so much, Kim, for sending me one of these amazing journals. I really appreciate it. That is so sweet. Heather, thank you so much for this ulcer guard and also the magnesium for Belle. It's already in the barn and I'm already giving it to her. Thank you. And Lisa, thank you so much for all these saddle pads. They are beautiful. We got all kinds of colors. So fun, orange, blue, just gorgeous. If you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order something off the Amazon wish list. Link in the description. Thanks, horse lovers. I put Mushu in with Belle and Gaston, and they seem to be doing great still. Mushi? <laughs> Mushi? Oh my gosh. Who are you? All right, fine. You knew I had one. <laughs> No, I gave you one. I gave you. You're silly. You're a silly horse. Mr. Prince Charming, isn't he so funny? Okay, it's been definitely a day of hard work, but I'm so happy that Belle has integrated really well with the herd. And now she's just with Mushu and Gaston today. But yeah, she's doing, <laughs> Mushu's like, hello, I'm the star. He's so funny. But yeah, I'm so happy it went well. <laughs> what 
are you doing? You're so funny. Well, horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates with Belle because there is a big one coming out, okay? So stay tuned and turn on those notifications like I said. And I'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye!